I don't know if I can. It's okay. For more than 20 years, Diane Frizzell believed the story her dad had told her, that Michael Powell didn't want anyone looking for him and ran off on his own. As time went on, we kept thinking, gee, you know, where is he? You know, we thought at one point maybe he was in some kind of protective custody type thing. While she still doesn't know what happened in the early 1990s when she last heard from her brother, Diane and her 39-year-old daughter Jennifer now know where he went. You yeah. never guess that it's going to be someone you know home like a family member and in the I mean he was there all along his remains were unearthed behind this home on the 19,900 block of 8th Avenue Southeast in Bothell after a neighbor who knew the previous homeowners tipped off officials Diane knows exactly why her brother would have been there Karen's brother brother so it was Mike's wife's brother Questions now fresh once again as they lay dormant for so many years for both Diane and Jennifer. There's just so many pieces that aren't connecting. So, like I said, I just want to get to the bottom of it because I think it's time. There's no reason for him to leave. Jennifer, living most of her life just remembering her uncle Michael, exactly how he made her feel all those years ago. Wherever he was, I wanted to be on his lap and with him. Yeah, she, yeah, she gravitated toward him. <laughs> she, yeah, that's all she talked about. The discovery of his remains last week have offered Diane and Jennifer a sense of closure with the case, as they were always wondering where he went waiting for him to come back. You're still looking over your shoulder, hope. wondering mean. where he is. But that closure won't turn to peace, they say, until police find Richard Nelson, the man who lived in the home with the backyard that became Powell's resting place so many years ago. I won't until it comes out. I, you know, I mean, I don't know. I just, I just want it to come out, all of it. So now they wait again, this time, hoping it isn't another 20 years because the more than 20 years of heartache has been long enough. I don't know, maybe it won't feel so empty, you know. Allie Bradley, Q13 News. Deputies need your help finding 43-year-old Richard Nelson. He was last known to live in Bonnie Lake and he has ties to Pierce County. Nelson is 5'9", 185 pounds with brown eyes and blonde hair, or as you can see in this picture, a shaved head. Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound is offering a $1,000 cash reward for information that leads to an arrest in the case. You can stay anonymous and submit a tip through the P3 Tips app or on your cell phone. You can call 1-800-222-TIPS.